First off, why are, are you buying this company? Well, first of all, thank you for having me here. It's a very exciting day for, for us. It is all about winning in the hybrid world. Hybrid work is opening a key growth opportunity, and the combination of Poly and HP is going to help us to accelerate our leadership in that space, supports the creation of a more growth-oriented portfolio for HP, and it has a very strong financial case. So it's a win combination, and we are incredibly excited about it. Yeah, I mean, you're talking about as much as a 15% compounded annual growth rate for this company. It has not put up anywhere near those kinds of numbers even during the pandemic and the growth and work from home. And I think it's last year over year number was up 4%. So what are you going to do at HP that's going to supercharge that growth rate at Poly? There are three, three key things we are going to be doing. One is we are going to be accelerating innovation, combining their portfolio with HP's portfolio. Second, it's all about the synergies that we can bring from a go-to-market perspective, combining their specialized sales teams in audio video channels with our retail and commercial teams. And finally, it's also about leveraging our scale in supply chain. Their growth or the lack of growth this year was impacted by the supply chain availability issues and our scale will really help them to, to grow faster. So, right, all right, they, they did blame on their last call as well, supply chain issues. And you, why can you do better? Uh, what, is, what is it that HP is going to be able to be able to navigate in a way that is going to be allowed this company to, to get past some of these supply chain issues that conceivably held back its growth? Well, it's important to realize that in situations like the one we are facing, scale matters. And putting our scale to support and to drive their business will help us to make a difference from a component availability perspective. Enrique, um, thank you for coming to the show. I'm holding up my uh, my U of Packer right now. And I have to tell you, I find the sound quality particularly poor. I try to watch things on it. It never gets loud enough, even though I know it's Bose. Um, I, I felt, why can't you have better sound yourself? Why do you have to go and buy someone? You're a great company with great technology. I've never felt, felt that the company you're buying has anywhere near the quality of technology that your company has. Well, what, what they have is a very strong portfolio of IP in audio and video. They have 1,100 patents in these two areas. So using those te that technology to improve not only the quality of our products, but to build a more complete portfolio for hybrid is one of the key reasons why we are so excited about this acquisition. Now, I know that uh, you have Eric Yuan, uh, founder and CEO of Zoom, quoted. Uh, was, did Zoom want this uh, company? Because I know that Zoom is looking for extension of its business. Well, Zoom is going to be a great partner because there is a big change in the audio-video conferencing system to open systems to cloud. We will be partnering with, with Zoom. We will also, of course, work with others like Teams with Microsoft because both of them are going to be investing in this area. And it's all really about the experiences we are going to be able to deliver to our customers, combining the quality of the solutions from Poly with our compute systems, with our manageability, we can really create very unique experiences that will help us to grow in this space. Enrique, a lot of this seems to be based on your belief, obviously, that the hybrid work uh, uh, condition, so to speak, will continue. Uh, you know, that therefore there won't be everybody in the office and that dispersion will lead to more use of these products. I guess you say, what, work from anywhere, 68% Expect to work from home at least three days a week. That was a survey I guess you did last May of 312 end users. You really believe that? 68% of people are going to only are going to work at least three days a week from home? This is actually, for example, what we're going to be doing in the company. We are going to provide flexibility for employees to work from home, to work from the office. And we think that flexibility is going to be key from an employee satisfaction perspective. So this is the model that we are putting in place. And this is one of the opportunities that we see. The other big opportunity that we see is in improving video conference rooms. We also have shared this morning that our estimate is that in the world there are 90 million rooms. Only 10% of them have, been, have video conference equipment. This market is going to triple in the next three years as people will have to enable that to allow people to, again, work from home and work from the office at the same time.